Hey everybody, it's Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and today I'm just going to catch you up with some of my journaling from this week. So you recognize everything that happened last week. I think that these are some of my favorite spreads. I just tip ins. I can't, I just want a million of them. So get out your things and let's just play around. <music> So I just started off the week using my Maste uh, number washi tape. I got this at Jet Pens, and they have so many cute uh, little designs for the numbers. They're adorable. So uh, check those out at Jet Pens if you're interested. I know a few people have asked me. And these stickers are from my friend Alyssa, who helped me with the um, fundraiser for um, our friend Becca. Um, the just put a heart on it she made all of those those tumblers and now she started making stickers uh she's playing around with it so she gave me some to try out and i can link her little shop below it's called simple little things by Alyssa, and they're really cool um they're like um the really thick vinyl-y ones so i have to write on it with a permanent marker but they're nice um and i did have coffee with my parents on Monday and we were in the garage because I don't know it's it's almost like sitting in the house I don't know why we feel like better about ourselves when we're in the garage like we're social distancing I don't know but um we turned on the space heater and looked out the garage window and it was practically blizzarding outside um this is not okay for October can I just tell you that guys it's not okay it's crazy and then my phone like buzz, you know how it like buzzes when you get those alerts like um, the missing children or tor tornadoes or something? It was like, Aah! snow squall alert in effect. A snow squall. This is 2020. Anything is possible, including a snow squall. Uh, and so like 10 minutes north of us in Ankeny, they got nine inches of snow. Nine inches, you guys. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> I'm not ready for the last quarter of 2020 to show me what it, it has in store. I'm just not. I'm scared. <laughs> just keeps getting crazier and crazier. So I had to, um, you know, journal about that because it's crazy. I've never witnessed a snow squall and did not know there was such a thing. But there was, and now I guess it's supposed to snow again later this week, which is, I can't, I just, oh my goodness, you guys. So I put in some, I don't even have words, you just, I just lose my words. I put in some of these snow stickers, I think these were um, from Michael's, um, one of the lines there, and somebody sent them to me and I thought they were adorable, so I put those in there, and then one of my little, um, cat stickers like hiding under a blanket because it was just one of those hide under a blanket days um, but I did come home from coffee and filmed my planner and journal like update and thank you guys so much for all the feedback and and watching um but this day did require a sassy squatch because even the squatch thinks it's too early for snow in October in Iowa all right this might be commonplace for my in-laws who live in northern Minnesota but not here. It's not okay here. I'm not okay with this. So um, I, the Sassy Squatch was very much needed on this spread. Um, and then I cut out the little girl with the journal was from the 2019 Hobonichi. Um, when you ordered, they always send you the little um, like booklet thing. And she was in the booklet. And so I cut her out because she's holding the little journal and she's so cute. And I thought that was perfect. And I put a little um, piece of a sticker that said, I'm sorry for what I said when it was summer. <laughs> um, seriously, right? I'll never complain again. I feel like I say that all the time. But um, yeah, basically this spread was just an ode to the ridiculous. Um, like snow, measurable snow in October. And then I'm putting a heart on it, um, just like we always must do. And the Tuesday sticker, again, the Simple Little Things by Alyssa. And I started out the morning with a must-have coffee sticker because the snow was still on the ground, which meant 
If you are a parent, you know what that means when you're getting ready for school. It means you have to pack all the snow things, all the snow things, the boots, the hats, the snow pants, everything. And that is my least favorite part of winter is sending my kids to school with their um, luggage of winter things. So this uh, antiquarian sticker book, hilarious, you guys. How come you all knew about it and I had no idea? I'm so in the dark. I'm like a little mole in the ground knowing nothing. And you guys are all like, yeah, it's awesome, duh. <laughs> you guys gotta tell me these things but I loved the little kids like one of them's like holding up the hat and then the little girl's like looking at it it's like that's how they looked at <laughs> when I got their winter stuff out like poking at it like what is this why are you making us bring this I'm like eh, there's snow on the ground so you need to take it and um we also had to drop Michael's car off at the mechanic because it was making a clunking noise so we had to get the clunking checked out. And I loved those little pair of, like, the socks and then the penguin. Um, just along the same lines of, you know, packing the winter gear. I was just frustrated because, you know, I feel like usually I don't have to steadily pack the winter gear until December. And just getting it out now just felt like a, a real slap in the face. Um, so, you know, I loved those stickers. <laughs> And I think that they um, are so funny and they're so weird. I just keep saying that, but they're so weird. Uh, and then I put some stickers from my Happy Planner um, Nurse Life sticker book in the bottom because I did have to work on Tuesday evening, afternoon. And then um, it's all rainbows because I just was reminding myself that it's all rainbows, <laughs> even when you're spending $1,000 at the mechanic. No, actually, um, they did discover what was wrong, and my husband's going to try and fix it himself. <laughs> so that's that's him. <laughs> and I put in a little house die cut because on Amazon Prime Day, turns out my husband bought a um, doorbell camera, something I never know we needed, nor did I know he wanted it, but he's obsessed with it. What? Stop fighting. My kids are at school, and I have to break up the fight between my cats. Never ending. So I put that little doorbell and then some collage. And uh, yeah, he was obsessed with it. It's like a kid on Christmas. He's like, okay, now now go outside and ring the doorbell. Now, now, and then he'd play it back for me on his phone. Like, did you see that? Did you see that the picture's so clear? He was just, it was amazing. So of course, the first thing that comes to my head is, I'm going to go out there tomorrow with a sign and like flash the doorbell camera <laughs> because it rings through on his phone <laughs> when there's somebody at the door. So I thought that's going to be so funny when I go outside with a sign that says like, have a good day. And then like moon him or something <laughs> because I know it would ring through on his phone at work and he'd probably be like, what the hell? Who did I marry? But this is his mistake. He already knows who he married. So you're stuck now. <laughs> and I was just um, journaling about that, about the, the awesomeness of the video doorbell and how excited he was about it. And then that he wanted to fix his own car issues. <laughs> um, I have the fullest of faith in him, but I just, why just, just let the mechanic do it. But uh, you know, he's saved money, and uh, if, if that's what he wants to do, then do it. Um, I'll just say ugh, and I'll be like the penguin having to bring their snow gear to school. Ugh. So anyways, um, on to, what day is this? Wednesday. Um, nothing really happened yesterday. Today's Thursday. Yes, today's Thursday. Um... I just had to go to Costco. And so this, that cart was a piece of uh, just collage from a real simple magazine. That little um, sticky note was one from Alyssa. And I just wrote some of the random things on there. And I know you guys can relate because when I go to Costco, it's like my common sense just flies out of the window. And I'm like, I just, it just goes in the cart. I'm like, ah, oh, we need these mittens we need these pillowcases I could definitely use a new pair of 
gardening shears because why not? And then what about this? Um, you know, like whatever it is, Christmas wreath that sings to you and lights up. I need all of it. Um, so that's just what happened. And I managed actually to remember the things that I went for this time, um, which was helpful. Um, tell me if you can relate, but, um, that's just how Costco is for me. And then, uh, but I did start off the morning by going to coffee in the morning with my mom and dad. And I loved the, um, stickers, happy planner stickers, another fine day ruined by responsibility. Um, and then the little, uh, sweet kawaii designs, coffee mug, little people. And then there's a little die cut of, um, like a speech bubble. And I put it, um, like the porcupine saying, my dad says that every morning we get together for coffee. He's always like, guess what temperature it is in Baghdad. I think I spelled Baghdad wrong. I'm not sure. And then these little sticker die cuts of the shopping, um, someone sent to me, they are from Japan, I think. And they're so cute. Um, Gaia Stationery made in Japan. Yep. Everything cute made in Japan. And, um, and then I was just writing down that it was early dismissal. So it was just going to be an afternoon spent relaxing and trying to tune out Addie's whining and wanting to paint her nails and do everything else. And then I put the little piece of my uh, Shine Sticker Studio Happy Mail on there just because it's cute and I, I wanted it in there. <laughs> And, um, let's see, what else? Um, I have a list of favorites. The Costco conversation reminded me that I have some favorites that I've been wanting to tell you guys about. Just random, like lifetime, life, lifestyle, not lifetime favorites. So tell me if you guys would be interested in something like that, even though it's not journal-ish. I have done things like that before, but, um, I was just thinking the other day, I have some stuff that is good that I want to tell you about, so... I'm putting a heart on it. I'm sorry, this wasn't a very exciting um, couple of days. Snow, Costco, snow gear. I don't know. It's just living that Midwest life. So I hope you guys are having an excellent week and that you're not too much of a sassy squatch because I've been a little bit sassy and squatchy this week. So I will talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>